just like Ohio State. Victory after victory. You're undefeated here in the IWC. I'm 28 no now, baby. And I'm proud to say I'm an Ohio State Buckeye fan. Woo! Wait a minute, Scott. You're about oh, to have a winner here. Second. Here comes Where the OSU and Michigan go out of here right I'm now. Batman Salica. Okay, Mr. Tall, drink of water. I don't care what you do on the side as far as shoveling cow manure, but you ain't going to take this Wolverine out. I can guarantee you that. Oh, I got to say, baby, that title you got right there in your hand, you got any kind of guts, you'll get in the ring with me right now, and we'll get it on, baby. Wait a minute. They're going to the ring right now. They're going to see it right here and right now. I'm telling you. Are you man enough to take him on? Let me tell you something, woman. They're going to see it right here. Oh! We are going to wait a minute. Jesse, is he going to the ring? He's going to the ring, Scott. He's going in. And it's a I'm sorry, I'm He's not a guy on the bucket. Get him ring. Oh, that's you and Michigan right here. Jesse, running, working. Wait a minute. We got an attitude. Wait a minute. 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 Wait Hi, Red Bull, never mind, Jesse, now we got Scott up in the top of the rope. Oh, man, what a drop. Bro, and I'm over here from the interview station. This looks like a cruise to Palom. How does it look for the broadcast booth? Butterfly suplex over goes the Buckeye Kid. And up, Jesse Salica goes again. Another high risk maneuver by Jesse Selleck as he comes up. Drop kick! Drop kick off the top rope! I don't believe what I'm seeing here, Scott! Jesse's really doing a number on the Buckeye Kid. He's proving that Ohio State may be winning a third round. Wait a minute, reverse hold! Back drop down goes Jesse Selleck! They call it the blood feud for years, OSU and Michigan! And I think we're going to see the same match the same weekend as the OSU-Michigan game. Look at that. Out of the ring, out of the floor. The question is... The referee's counting. Jesse's down. The referee is counting. He's reached eight. He's reached nine. The winner of this special challenge match, the Buckeye Kid. I'll tell you what. We Buckeye Kid. We really pay some rules. I think you want it. Anytime, anybody. When Ohio State and Michigan play, we're going to play in my world of madness. I guarantee you, you got a couple of lucky shots there. But I'll study the film. And it won't happen again, you piece of crap! Don't hold myself! Well, wrestling fans, we're about out of time. Hopefully next week we can get the contract signing of the Ohio State versus Michigan in wrestling for the light heavyweight title of the world. Just get us down. High risk maneuver by Jesse Now we got scoring up in the top row. Elbow from oh, the top. Oh, man, what a drop. Well, here we are at the new interview segment of Risque Cafe. <laughs> our new segment. Actually, it's kind of like our old segment, except we sit down, so it's really different. <laughs> so <laughs> That's what's new about it this week. But anyway, getting on. I'm pleased to have my guest tonight, Jesse the Madman Salica. Luckiest day of your life to have me here. <laughs> Jesse, how are you? Welcome to Risque Cafe. Well, I know since I've been the last time, you got a new kind of backdrop, like you said. Now, if they get a new host, maybe it'll be a completely better show. <laughs> I love it when a man comes to my show and just blatantly insults me. You know what, Jess? We've been running uh, the IWC Wrestling on 62 now for, what, to about three or four weeks. The show that I'm the star of, you mean? Yes, yes. The uh, <laughs> Jesse Salica show. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't turn it right. But anyway... Uh, you've made quite a stir up over there. You're uh, one of the uh, one of the brighter lights, I'd say, in the IWC. That's right. The first week, I put Flying Paul Harley out of wrestling. 
The second week, uh, the Golden Boy challenged me to a match. He said he was the greatest scientific wrestler in the world. What happened? You go ahead and tell him. Uh, I pinned him fair and square. <laughs> Can't wait on you all fall asleep. <laughs> Well, let's talk about it. now. Let's talk about some things that have happened. You've been rest, you've been heavyweight cha or light heavyweight champion now for six years. That's right. I'm not no fat butt light heavyweight. I stay slim and trim. <laughs> um, let's. Who did you originally get this from six years ago? I beat some sewer rat named Kid Collins in Manchester, Kentucky, and I think his body's still laying there. <laughs> you've now you've you defended it uh, countless times, but you might want to go over some of the better the people that gave you the biggest trouble. Well. Nobody give me trouble because I study videotape, seek and destroy. I study the tape, I seek out the opponents, and then I destroy them, one, two, three. You know, I've been in several, several bloodbath matches, and you name it, I've been in it, and none of them survived. So how can I say who's the toughest when I beat them all? Okay. Let's talk about some things going on now. Let's talk about Mr. Breeze. You fired him. You fired your manager. Well, you know, the last time I was on your show, I had Angela with me, and I, I fired her, too, because she just couldn't cut it uh, in places other than the rest of the ring we won't get into. <laughs> but uh, same day, you know, he was a little different situation, but why should I go out, train, put the blood, sweat, and tears into winning the title and keeping the title, and then he gets a share of my money? No way. You know, he didn't have too many good things to say about being fired. Well, you know, his pocket's hurting, that's why. Okay. Well, what, what I'd like to do now is I'd like to talk, maybe, I'd like to run by some names of other wrestlers and tell me what you think of them. Before you do that, the first thing I want to say is your mother's running around here with a mustache, <laughs> and I'm getting tired of her. She tried to pinch my butt, and I ain't got time for that. She does that again. I'm going to fart on her, and I'm telling you, get her out of here. She smells. Get a can of Rage, something. You can ask her whatever you want, but get that ugly old woman out of here. No wonder you're so ugly. God. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> let's talk about wrestling now. It's kind of hard when you, ugh, that's, well, I can look at the green foil coming in over the other <laughs> studio. Gee, man, ah. Okay, you can close line on the way out or something if you want to, but anyway. Probably make her face look better. <laughs> let's talk about wrestlers. Okay. Paul, Paul Hurley. Hurley, Hurley? Well, yeah, you can call him Hurley now because he's Hurley into the ground right now. <laughs> Okay, the Buckeye Kid. The Buckeye what? I, wait a minute, I, got, I, I ran out of Q-tips last week and I don't think I heard you right, did you well, say? Let, well, okay, we'll come back to him. Okay, let's talk about, uh, let's see, let's, let's talk about the Rock and Roll Cowboy, heavyweight champion. Well, you know, he's a garbage, like I told him the last time we was here. I told him, I said, look, you big fat slob, you ain't, you are lucky that I'm not a heavyweight because I'd put him out of this business so quick, it'd make his head spin. He's an out of shape. He hands out those stinking bandanas to all those ugly kids, and I'm going to slap to I'll tell you what. I am going to be the first wrestler ever, the Michael Spinks of wrestling, to be the only man ever to hold the light heavyweight title and go up and win the heavyweight championship as well. Okay. He's a big boy. He's big, a fat big man. Uh, you know, that doesn't impress me whatsoever. I'm speedy, I'm quick, and I'm the best. It's that simple. Okay. All right, Savannah Slim. Oh, God. You know, this guy, the IWC is running a contest on having dinner with Savannah Slim. Now, this is for the kids, and that's all good and fine, but the only bad thing about it is the kids are going to be on the floor trying to get crumbs up, trying to get a little bit of food because this big, fat slob... A garbage disposal mouse going to be ramming it down his throat. He'll probably slap the kid and take his candy bar in his back pocket. <laughs> that guy makes me sick. He shovels cow pow for a living. He ain't nothing but a piece of garbage, <laughs> just like your mother. <laughs> She's here, you know. Well, you've seen her. But <laughs> I thought it was Savannah when I first seen her, but uh, his mustache is a little thicker than your mother's. Unfortunately, the flies are about the same amount, though. Okay. We got to come back to one name now, and I was there last week. Let's talk about the Buckeye Kid for a minute. I don't want to talk about the stinking suck eye, suck eye, I said, Kid. <laughs> now, coming up, I'm going to whip that stinking Buckeye right in the middle of the ring. <laughs> there ain't nothing I hate more than Ohio State, John Cooper, any of them. 
all the way down to the slime ball, Archie Griffin, I don't care who you talk about in Ohio State. I hate their guts. I hate, and you're a Buckeye. As a matter of fact, I hate your guts. And as a matter of fact, I got to get out of here. And I'll tell you what, I hate these cameraman's guts. And I might even come over and slap you fools if I get the urge. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I'm